Here's your EO Live weather forecast. Hope all of you a great Thursday. Gabe Picotto is reporting on the September 15th, brought to you by Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance. Those highs have topped out into the 70s for much of us today, an exception for the mountains cooler, low to mid 60s, with that warm spot on the map, 85 in Ontario. And out the door this evening into the Grand, we're seeing a decent amount of cloud cover. In fact, we haven't seen many sun breaks today, which has really limited the amount of storms we saw, unlike our south and east. There are still just a few storms out there currently that could continue in the coming hours at least in spotty areas especially up towards the north before that completely gets out of here later tonight dropping those temperatures into the upper 30s to lower 40s for much of us an exception for Legrand, Pendleton in Ontario warmer into low to mid 50s I'm expecting more breaks in that cloud cover tonight producing some spots of fog heading into the day tomorrow low to mid 70s will be the story for much of us an exception for cooler temperatures holding into the 60s at Meacham with that warm spot on the map, 82 in Ontario. There's a slight chance we could see a few storms redeveloping across the Northern Blues or allow as the second half of the day. Otherwise, our valleys will remain dry with some breaks in the mix. At the end of the day tomorrow for La Grande, it looks like this will start out into low 50s at the 8 o'clock hour beginning with more sunshine and clouds as a light westerly wind flow takes place. But we'll see a bit of an increase on those clouds in the middle part of the day, filtering that sunshine off and on before we see those winds turn to the northwest late in the day, gusting up to 30 miles per hour in spots as we see decreasing cloud cover through the evening. We'll make the low 70s tomorrow, drop into the mid to the upper 30s overnight. Latest update on Saturday actually warms highs into the low 70s as our next front Saturday evening brings scattered moisture, not steady like I once thought. As we end in my 7-day forecast, I'm still tracking the chance for a period of steady rain early in the day, Sunday before that breaks up giving us a mix of scattered storms and sun breaks with highs potentially still holding into the upper 60s. Otherwise, we warm back up into the lower 70s early next week as we see more sunshine, much drier conditions, but I still can't rule out a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm late Monday and into Tuesday. Latest data actually brings showers back in the forecast midweek, meaning those highs would potentially cool back off into the mid to the upper 60s at least briefly. This has been Gabe Curtis bringing the most accurate forecast you can get here in Eastern Oregon. Thank you to the folks down at Nate Conklin State Farm Insurance for sponsoring this weathercast, and I will be back tomorrow.